So, we left off with this heading on our route route. That's cool. But, we can have loads of routes here, and some websites have thousands of lines of HTML, and they do not hard code it in like this. We can also have dynamic, we can also have dynamic variables here, which is interesting, so if I type variable test, that's a string literal, it's going to come up with test as a heading, but we'll get onto that later in dynamic rendering. So res.send h1, we're just doing this from here, we don't want to do that. Instead, what we want to do is make a folder within the dashboard directory called views. Now this is the convention with express, so express views, we can, so there we go. So instead of res.send we type res.render and then the file name within views which is the default directory that is used here. So index.pug instead of h1 the syntax looks like this. So h1 yay it's much cleaner than html it's a bit more cleaner and it allows dynamic allows us to send dynamic variables and render them, which we'll get onto in a minute. But if we go to npmjs.org slash package slash pug, what is pug? Why are we talking about pug? Well, pug is HTML and JavaScript combined and allows us to dynamically render HTML, so it, it compiles to HTML, so if we type index.pug, not send file, res.render, so if we get rid of this and restart, let's see if that works. Cannot find module pug, so index.pug from the views directory, we want to render that. Cannot find module pug, what do we do? Well, we install pug npm i save pug there we go now let's try again let's see what happens so we refresh and now it seems to not log in because I keep spamming it oh there we go so now we get localhost 3000 now fail to look up index.pug in views directory bot one pg slash views so it's looking in this directory here for views which there isn't any it's in this dashboard so what we do is we type app dot set views then so then do name plus views what is do name do name points to well we'll find out so what we can do is add a breakpoint here with VS code and restart so if we look at the value of do name if we add a watch so this is the do name and it adds a slash it doesn't, I don't think it matters if the slashes are different. And then views, so it's in this folder which the server.js is in. Cool. That's what we want to see. Now let's refresh again. Try again, and then it renders yay. But, I made a mistake here. Which was, make a h1. I typed hashtag h1 <laughs> and what that did is it added the id because hashtag it uses css selectors so we'll get onto that later though it adds a an id 
called h1 just so if we want just a normal tag we type remove the hashtag so the div is the default element in HTML basically with CSS selectors so if we refresh again it's now a h1 we did it so another thing we can do so let's remove that we can just remove that we want to get rid of this it's another life hack I guess we can time app.set view view engine and then the package name that we're using which is pg so that will assume we're using pug for every file we, re we render from the views directory so now if we refresh that works too so we can have loads of ro um, routes and not specify that we are using a pg file as that is assumed here and it saves us quite a few lines I guess but there we go that was it in the next video I'll show you how to pass variables to this H, um, this PUG file so it can be dynamically rendered from this there we go